Morning, Abotai. Uh, there's an interesting question that comes up on Fridays on Eid of Shabbat. If a person is allowed to start a load of laundry, uh, to put it in the washer or in the dryer, and then to let it continue into Shabbat, is that an issue or not? So this really starts from Barait and Masechet Shabbat of Yudchet. The Gemara brings down that although, in theory, all of any melacha that a person starts from Eid of Shabbat is allowed to continue into Shabbat. For that reason, if a person turns on his sprinklers on his lawn before Shabbat, it's allowed to let it continue into Shabbat. There's no issue because you're not doing any melacha. The Gemara though discusses in a Baraita, what's the halacha with regards to a mill? Yeah, is a person allowed to put wheat into a mill uh, before Shabbat and allow it to continue working to grind the wheat into Shabbat? The Baraita says it's asur. There's a machloket in the Gemara if this Baraita is actually la halacha or not. Is this Baraita unanimous according to everybody? Or is it subject to a different machloket, whether or not noise making, maybe a mill is different, rechaim is different because it makes a lot of noise. Maskanat agmara, and be'emit, the halacha, marana shulchan aruch and siman reshnun bet, brings down the halacha, that it is subject, this baraita is subject to the machloket b'chama b'tilel, and according to b'tilel, it would be mutar to allow this mill to work on Shabbat, even though it makes a lot of noise, and people are looking, and people ask, at the end of the day, noise making is not an isur on Shabbat, the melacha was started before Shabbat, and b'tilel allows noise making on Shabbat, kach pasak maran. However, according to the Ramah, the Ramah says no, he says, noise making technically is asur on Shabbat, unless there's a situation of great financial loss, in which case a person would be able to do, start the melacha from before Shabbat, even though it makes noise into Shabbat. Therefore, it would seem, with regards to a washing machine, or washing machine is a little bit more quiet, but a dryer sometimes makes more noise, according to Ashkenazim, it would seem to be asur, uh, at least meikaradin, if a person didn't have any other chance to do it, or uh, there was financial loss, if a person was going to lose money by not doing it, but otherwise it would be asur. But according to Sfaradim, based on Marana Shulchan Aruch, it would be mutar to start the washer-dryer cycle before Shabbat and allow it to enter Shabbat. Nevertheless, Marana Shulchan Aruch says it's best not to do this unless a person has a great need. For instance, let's say Shiva boys or soldiers that come home right before Shabbat and leave right after and they need their laundry done. So over there, he says he can be mekel. But otherwise, it's best not to unless there's some sort of other great need to do so. So as not to, uh, to create this zilzul uh, b'chvot Shabbat because it's going to make noise. It's not the nicest thing. Uh, that's it for today. Have a wonderful day.